Before we jump into some JavaScript functions, what I want to do is show you a new uh, console, a new way to view JavaScript output in the browser using something called Firebug. Now, if you recall in a previous video, we went into the error consoles in Internet Explorer and in Firefox. Firebug is a plugin that works with Firefox and it's basically a tool that allows you to inspect and monitor your CSS, HTML, and JavaScript live. Uh, it's a very interesting tool to use when you're writing JavaScript, of course, because it allows you to see all kinds of stuff that you wouldn't be able to see otherwise. So I'm just going to download it. You can get it, of course, as you saw, you do a search for Firebug in Google, you'll get it here. So we're gonna install it. Works, of course, on Mac and PCs of versions of Firebugs. Okay, Firefox, okay, for options. You see Firefox was not allowing me to uh, to download stuff because of security, so I just said do it. And okay, here, Firefox, Firebug rather. Let's go install now. I'm installing. See, I have to upgrade my version of Firefox, which sucks. So let me do that now. All right, let's try this again. All right, install now. All right, it's working. Refart, okay, restart Firefox. All right, rock and roll. Firebug is now installed. Let's uh, load up the basic page. All right, let's take a look at the code. Okay, so we have Firebug installed. And if we uh, minimize the browser here, look down here, you got a little Firebug here. If I click on it, and this little Firebug thing pops open. So what I want to show you is a console. Console is disabled. So forget about network monitoring. So what we want to do is we have the console. This is going to help us with a lot of our logging. I'll show you how to use that in a second and also script for JavaScript debugging. All right, so we have a console active in Firebug in Mozilla Firefox. And this will give us more detailed information than the built-in consoles that we saw before, arrow console here. And uh, I'll show you an example of that. So let's, uh, let's pop open this page. So we have there alert. Hi, it's me, Steph. So let's just look at that in Firebug again. I'll relaunch. We have our alert. Hi, it's me, Steph. So alerts work when you want to see the output of functions and so on, you know, but What's more cool is to use something called a console. So I'm going to just go like this. I'm going to go console dot uh, log, and I can display a message and go hello. So let's uh, save that. Launch uh, Firefox again. Reload the page. See in the console it says hello right here. Bingo. So that is, uh, okay, simple enough. It's easier to have the console than always having to click OK on the alert box. And, you know, so you can also use it to evaluate uh, expressions in, uh, in, uh, in JavaScript. What's an expression? Sort of like a mini equation, a programmatic equation. I'm going to go 2 uh, plus 2. I hit Enter. So let's save that. Reload. See if it gives 4, right? Now we can do that with, uh, as you know, every programming language is a built-in mega calculator, of course, you can do all kinds of mathematical equations. And uh, I'm not going to get into that in this video because most of us won't be using JavaScript for math, but it's just something, uh, something to note. If you look at the arrow console, we can do that here. We can write in console, we can say two, oops, two plus, two plus, uh, Okay, two plus two, and hit enter, four. 
That's kind of cool. Uh, we could do things like is uh, three less than four. Hit enter. Oh, evaluate rather. Hmm, it should have given me the answer false. Oh, that's why I have it set to errors only. Go to all. Okay, there we go. So the error console is cool, but if you can just see it down here, this is much easier. So if so, I can go, uh, you know, four less than three. Hit enter. Launch Firefox. We get false, of course. So as you can see, the console allows us to inspect. Um, to excuse me, to output stuff to console using the console.log function. And this is something that only works if you got the uh, JavaScript uh, Firebug thing going here. And uh, so I recommend Firebug really. And for most of the uh, videos in the JavaScript series, I'm going to be using the uh, Firebug and Firefox because it's so much easier to work with.